Hello we are from group 1. Today we will be presenting about our microalgae processing plant in biofertilizer production. We will go through the processes involved in our plant. First, wastewater anaerobic digestion. During this stage, livestock wastewater has high ammonium concentrations along with high chemical oxygen demand. Biogas, such as methane and carbon dioxide gas is produced. Methane produced is channeled to the power plant whereas carbon dioxide produced is channeled to the photobioreactor. Organic pollutants and microorganisms, which are harmful to algal growth are degraded. Agitator ensures that flocculation can be carried out in the shortest time. Okay, let us move on to the ultrafiltration. During this stage, liquid digestate will undergo ultrafiltration to remove solid particles. This pretreated liquid digestate acts as nitrogen source and further supplemented with required nutrients. The addition of liquid digestate is depending on the ammonium ions concentration in the culture. The pH value is controlled by adding sodium hydroxide continuously or in batch. To compensate for hydrogen ions released from the ammonium ions uptake, liquid digestate is diluted with water to control its turbidity. For the cultivation stage, microalgae which are selected strains of Arthrospira sp are cultivated in the vertical column photobioreactors. Microalgae cultivation is controlled under an optimal light intensity, pH, carbon dioxide level and temperature. Hence, continuous monitor of light intensity, temperature and pH is necessary by using lux meter probe, thermometer and a pH meter probe respectively. During this harvesting stage, microalgal cells are easily suspended in culturing medium due to their negatively charged surface. Hence, by adding bioflocculating agents such as acrylic acid and chitosan, the cells clump together to form flock, a larger particle for sedimentation. Biomass are dried using rotary dryer normally at 70 degrees Celsius for 14 hours. This minimizes the water content in microalgae biomass to preserve microalgae biomass for subsequent processes. Additional nutrients that is triple superphosphate, DSP, is added to the dry biomass and is granulated to produce biofertilizer. To reduce plastic pollution, we will be using polycoated craft paper as an eco-friendly alternative for our packaging. Finally, biofertilizers are packaged here for commercialization.